Welcome back with another episode of Flash Review. Today, we will look at best pocket pistols. I'm fairly convinced that there is no concealed carry pistol more convenient than a pocket pistol when self-defense is in question. In 2020, over 19 million U.S. citizens have gotten themselves a concealed carry permit that allows them to carry a gun for their own safety, according to the Crime Prevention Research Center. This massive influx of new gun owners paved a way for a more diverse gun community, and that's why we see the newfound popularity of pocket carry pistols. Pocket pistols have many benefits, especially for new gun owners. What makes them popular is their ease of use, concealability, and the abundance of aftermarket options for them. They're small, but they can kick with a sharp and snappy recoil, and it can be a hassle to choose a good pocket pistol. That's why I rounded up some of the best pocket pistols on the market in this guide. Consider dropping a like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this, and let's dive right in. Bond Arms Backup This stump nose revolver is tailor-made for conceal and carry. It features a patented rebounding hammer and is designed to fire heavy-duty 45 ACP rounds. The textured frame and bee-blasted anti-glare barrel make for accuracy as well as discretion. By taking the traditional black Derringer and perfecting it for the modern age, Bond Arms have created one of the best pocket pistols around of the 21st century. The black crinkle powder coat finish gives it a classic artisan design that runs parallel to its contemporary inner workings. The backup's got a crossbolt safety, retracting firing pins, and a spring-loaded, cammed locking lever. Bond Arms builds an incredibly safe pistol with a cross-bolt safety and it fires in single-action mode, meaning that you have to cock the hammer manually every time you want to fire. Although we always recommend the use of a holster, this could safely be carried in an outer jacket pocket or even dropped into a bathrobe pocket when there is an unexpected sound in the middle of the night and you do not have the time to roll out in full kit with an AR and a full-sized handgun. Colt Mustang XSP Colt Mustang XSP, which is over an ounce lighter than the pocket light while keeping the same dimensions, all thanks to the polymer frame Colt used for the production. Though the XSP still retains the same original design frame as the original, the significant reductions in weight and overall exterior could have been sufficient to deem it as a different model altogether. The Colt 380 Mustang XSP comes in an all-black frame, which is immune from rusting. The overall feel of the design is spectacular, with stainless steel solid block being used in the construction of the barrel and slide. It seems that Colt has been listening to what consumers had to say, as there are other minor improvements, such as deeper serrations on the slide for improved handling and grip. Though the XSP belongs to the same Mustang family, it has significant exterior changes. So don't count on the same design appeal if you are a fan of the original Mustang. The Colt Mustang XSP holds seven rounds, including one in the chamber. We tried the XSP at 13-yard ranges and found the shots to be quite accurate, with only minor deviations from the target, possibly due to shaky hands. All in all, the XSP is a significant improvement over the pocket light and functions, great as a standalone pocket gun. A light trigger, excellent grip and portability makes up for it. Glock 42. This 380 ACP automatic pistol is a bit large compared to most competitors' pocket pistols, but it's still a viable conceal and carry option. It's got a 5.5 LB trigger pull and a 5.94 inches in length. It's the smallest pistol Glock has ever produced. A lot of people have dismissed the 380 caliber as being inferior when it comes to taking out an opponent, but it has gained in popularity in recent years because it's the most effective cartridge for a smaller size firearm. The 380 is also ideal for beginners as you can learn how to fire one in a fraction of the time it takes to train with a larger higher velocity slash higher recoil weapon. In this avid shooter's humble opinion, the Glock 42 is one of the absolute best 380 concealed carry pistols. Kimber Micro the Kimmer Micro 9 with Crimson Trace Laser Grips is a 9mm 1911 model that is perfect for conceal and carry. It's just 4.07 inches in length and 1.06 inches wide. With a 6 bullet capacity, the Kimber Micro provides the shooter with a smooth trigger pull and moderate recoil. It features a flush fitting mag with finger grip extension and comes with a soft padded case. It's got white dot sights and a 16 LB recoil spring. An excellent firearm for defensive purposes, the Kimber Micro 9 is hardly a piece for competitive shooting or most outdoorsmen's needs, but it will have your back in a self-defense scenario. An A8 Mini Revolver If you're in the market for the best pocket revolver, 
and a min revolver may just be the concealed carry pocket pistol for you. North American Arms 22 LR is by far the most popular miniature revolver ever mass-produced. It is specifically offered in a holster grip configuration for conceal and carry purposes. With a 1-1-8-inch barrel and a 5-shot capacity, the 22 LR is a mean little machine. The grip folds up to ensure optimal concealment and folds into a locked position for control when shooting. Rock Island Armory Baby Glock This shrunken 380 model cuts down on recoil and offers users an easy-to-handle experience thanks to the squared serrations on both the front and rear of the slide. A bit clunky for proper pocket carry, the Baby Rock is nevertheless a worthy conceal and carry gun that can serve as an IWB inside the waistband carry. Its soft rubber grip panels make it comfortable to hold and a short trigger pull. While it's a bit large for pocket carry, the Baby Rock is still compact, and where it really shines is its width. The slide is just 0.79 inch. The rubber grips are the fattest part of the gun, and they come in at just 1.1 inches. With any kind of covering garment, this pistol just disappears. Trigger pull on my sample was 5.5 pounds, but it was so crisp and smooth it felt lighter than that. Reach to the trigger was short, and you'll find yourself using the tip of your trigger finger when shooting. The mainspring housing is the only other aluminum piece on this otherwise steel gun. It is vertically serrated. Conclusion: When people consider pocket pistols, they value the concealability and low profile factor above all. Consistency, accuracy, and convenience in operations are very important, but once you try out a gun first, it's much easier to find out what you truly want and need in a good pocket pistol. These choices I rounded up for you are all fine options and they are more than just a placeholder that tells you what to look for. Shoot straight, stay safe. Thank you for watching. How do you see the list above? Leave a comment in the section below, and see you next time.